everybody. Relatively speaking, happy Monday. My name is Sabin Spice, and welcome to this first entry in the Retro Wayback Machine, Epic Mega Games' 1993 release, Zargon. So, Zargon is a 2D platformer that, as I said, was released in the early 90s, so it was one that I was playing when I was first really identifying with being a gamer, so I was about 11 years old when this came out, so yeah. Um, as far as the uh, the retro wayback machine goes, I will be taking a look at games much like Zargon, Commander Keen, and similar that were really the ones that shaped my enjoyment of video games growing up. Uh, as far as how I'm going to do this breakdown, because as you can see there are multiple episodes, we'll play by ear and we'll see if I can do three different episodes, three different parts, or if I can just mishmash them all into one and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit for episode one. Okay, nobody... You didn't see me do that. Helps if I'm on the right screen. There we go. Anybody remember this from these old games? This whole thing of the config screens and making sure that everything is fine? So I'm running this on DOSBox, as you probably can gather, because this is such an old game that Windows 7 looks at it and goes, Huh? How does this work? So, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. I do apologize for any of the volume if it's too loud to really hear me, if it's if I have to make any adjustments in post, anything like that, and I kind of goof it, because this game just does not have the finesse volume controls like our newfangled games do. I think I can live with this. I love this soundtrack so much. I should not love this soundtrack as much as I do but it's just an amazing soundtrack for a very old game. So, obviously the first episode was released as Shareware, which, if you youngins don't know what Shareware was, you got basically a, a, uh, a demo of the title, usually the first episode, and when you finish that, you are encouraged to order the rest of the series. So it pops you right into the demo, shows you a little bit. Okay. Let's do this enough chatter, let's actually get into the game. So you have your overhead map, and you have your buddy, your guy here. So first journal entry. I don't know what has happened to me. I am in a place like none I've ever seen before. I remember taking notes at the stone wall. Then I began to feel dizzy. I remember sitting down to rest. After that, it's all a blur. I need to find out where I am and what's happening to me. Perhaps I'm dreaming. MH. MH stands for Malvinius Habersham. What? Don't look at me, I didn't come up with the name. He is an archaeologist who was studying a race of people called the Blue Builders. He fell asleep uh, while studying this statue, and he was transported to this world. Oh, my favorite song on the soundtrack. So, you have your basics, you have your jump, you have your shoot, which at this point I can only do one at a time. Oops. So you just go through, you do that, you do that. And there's our, my first enemy. Ah, laser bullet. So now I can shoot, and see they're a different color too, so then I can shoot two of them at a time instead of just one. Isn't that exciting? Collect fruit to earn extra health. You will receive one health bar for every 16 fruits you find. I love the sounds in this. I just love the soundtrack, the noise. We don't get anything for the ice cream cones, just points. So it's your standard run and jump platformer. Emeralds! The emeralds are very valuable and can be used to buy needed items. To access a menu of choices, simply press the letter B. So you do that. And you can buy any time in the course of the game. You can buy extra health, you can buy more lasers, you can buy rapid fire, fireballs, and temporary invincibility. I don't have enough for anything right now, obviously, so back to the game I go! By the way, if you guys like the soundtrack, it actually, people have uploaded this on YouTube. Take a listen to it, it's really cool. Alright. Ah, special bonus items. During the course of the game, you will come across treasure chests, gift wrap boxes, and special mystery boxes. You can examine the contents of any of these by shooting them. Caution. Some of the boxes contain nitroglycerin and will burst into flames if you shoot them. It's so dramatic. Ah, 
the beating heart. Hearts give you health. If you if you have lost any health bars, you can jump to the heart, and it will give you something. These X signs are usually signs that you can press up to read. Special tip, the laser bullets can be controlled after you fire them. Keyboard, press the up arrow key to move the bullet up. Press the down arrow key to move the bullet down. Joystick, blah 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 blah. I don't have a joystick, so no point. But, oops. But, observe. You can do that. I could listen to this song all day. This is such an awesome song. Ah, oh, that was another heart. Also watch for the background elements, because some of those you can pick up for points as well, like the flowers. That guitar sound never ever gets old. I wish I had that for everything that I played. Oops. Computer. Ah! I hate when I do that. That was embarrassing. When you guys do that, go away. I'm not quite ready to finish yet because I can go down below, but I do want to kind of come up here. Go down the hole, like, oh. Exit sign is just what it says on the tin. Malvinius returns to the safety of the map level. Reminder, the game can only be saved when you are on the map level. Now would be a good time to save the game. Press S. Probably should, just to be safe, so I will do that. Okay, next journal entry. I can't understand this place. I find it hard to believe it's even real. It must be a dream. Maybe I'm dreaming or in a coma. What if I'm dead? The vegetation and animals are bizarre. They're like something out of a fantasy. I have decided to record what is happening to me here in my notebook. If nothing else, it will make for interesting research when slash if I wake up. MH. The dialogue in the journal entries is a little bit stilted, but being early 90s writing, it's not so bad. Now, then he enters a strange new dimension. Rapid fire! That's rapid fire. You get five, the maximum five bullets. It lasts the entire level, and is probably one of the most fun things you're going to run into. Until you get the fireballs. Oh, I forgot about this. They did put a few little bonuses like that in. Ah yes, that centipede is such a pain in the neck. Oh no, I pissed the bee off. And he'll be back. What I like about these centipedes is that all of their little components, once you kill them, you get points for them. So that really is handy. So you probably saw the exit area up there a little bit ago. It's unfortunately locked currently. Come on, bees. Come on. Gotcha. And right there, down below my feet, is the key. So I just need to get down there to get the key. And I'll get that in a second. One of the problems with these two-legged things is that sometimes they blend into the background, so it's really hard for me to spot them sometimes, and I, I run right into them, and I'm just completely embarrassed because I should have seen that faster. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, 
like I said, if you like what you're hearing, if you like the, the music... Oops. Oh, that's one thing. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, if you like the music, check out YouTube. Type in Zargon Soundtrack, and there are people who have uploaded the songs. That was one thing I forgot to mention, though, with the fruits. Is if you have collected the 16 fruits, and you have full health, it will hold on to the fruits until you need them, and then it gives you the health. It's kind of cool like that. Ah! See what I mean? I just run right into him. I always catch myself singing along with the music, it's kind of funny. Alright, so I've got the key. And you can check that by hitting enter. That's your inventory status, so I have the five bullets, I have no gate key. The gate keys will come up later. No power objects again, they'll come up later. So. Oh yeah, the key is in my inventory right below there. I knew that. I love that sound, that boing. There we go. Back on track. I think I spied a bee. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for making it so easy to kill you. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Leave without those. Ah, now I gotta go all the way back and get all the way up there. Oh, it's so far. And exit. Malvinius returns to the safety of the map. Again. So, one more journal entry. I have been here nearly three days now. Surely if this were a dream, I would have awoken by now. I've had several post close calls. Those strange green creatures nearly had me a couple times. I'm going to assume that this is real until I have a reason to believe otherwise, or else I may really be dead soon. MH. I think this is a good spot to stop this first episode. I will pick right back up again from this very spot in the next episode. Um, if you guys are interested in the game, if you, I will put a link to download the game in the description for the video, so check out down there. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't ever give up on something that you love. Until next time! I just see you walk in, and you're like, nope, walking out. <laughs>